Hello, Zero K fans. This is Cheddar Fury 333 with Natalie is a Dawn, and I apologize for the delay. And it looks like it's still not doing great. I'm suspecting my hard drive is dying, and if that's the case, then I'm totally fucked because I have no time to actually replace the hard drive. I've got, like, I have some time. It's just. It takes forever because I have to get a new hard drive, then I have to use Ghost to copy everything over from the old hard drive to the new hard drive, and then that takes a whole day, and I honestly don't have whole days. I guess I have weekends, but those are the times I need to relax because the rest of my week's busy. I'm not in a good mood right now. <sighs> Whatever, let's just watch the game. So this is Sprung vs. Snuggle Base on Lake Largo, a map I believe Sprung made. Pretty cool map, actually. It's set up in such a way that you kind of have to expand, but at the same time, it's... Well, it's like... What's the map? It was... I don't say Cloud Kingdom, but that's not the map that map was based off of. It was... I can't remember the name of it, but there's... Basically, it's clustered. You have small clusters of metal extractors, and when you expand, you're putting it a bit of risk. Now, this map's kind of interesting because a lot of the metal extractors are attackable by sea. As you can see, a lot of the clusters, there's one or more, metal, well, usually one metal extractor in the ocean and one on land. Which is an interesting setup. Both players going amphib because that's what you do. Like, on a map like this, where it's very hilly, very water-focused, you could theoretically go for hover. And the idea is to allow for every factory to work, but amphib is a fairly strong factory, and it's pretty much perfect for this kind of map. It works on land, it works in water, and what we have here is a mix of land and water. Perfect for amphib. So right now, it's going to be, well, ducks and ducks, because that's what happens. Curious is going to go scallop first, but I don't know if anyone is, actually. Ooh, Snuggle Base popping out underwater. Water blocks off missiles, so that was very nice to Snuggle Base. Good micro there, and that'll put them a little bit ahead of Sprung right now. Sprung, however, is overall fairly behind. I mean, Snuggle Base is expanding faster. Sprung just now getting their first worker. Their commander is also kind of in the water, so they have a bit of a harder time expanding. While Snuggle Base moving forward to expand, expanding, and expanding. Actually, it doesn't have a worker yet. Oh, no, they do have, they have one. Never mind. They have one conch. While Sprung just getting their conch now, two minutes in. First major battle is going to go to... Oh. Pushing Snuggle Base away, apparently. And Snuggle Base trying to get into the water again, not able to do as quickly. So Sprung makes up for the lack of a duck early on. Now both players are pretty even militarily, or at least in terms of damage dealt. Sprung expanded the back, well, although those are plus one metal extractors, so Snuggle Base is still ahead. As you can see also, the less risky metal extractors are, well, sort of less risky. I'm not sure why these are 1 and 0.5. They aren't that much less risky, but they're definitely not that worth it. Compared to over here. I guess this is further away from the start base. I can see why the ones in the water are plus two. Those should be. I'm just not sure how this is that much safer. At any rate, especially with Amphib, it's not that much safer. So I expect that Sprung will still have a bit of a hard time economically, and they are. Snuggle Base plus 19. They do have a conch assisting this up. So everything is going very nicely for Snuggle Base, except for the lack of energy, but otherwise, everything's going quite nicely for Snuggle Base while Sprung is very quickly falling behind. So I expect that Sprung will be f not doing too well this game. I am I am quite surprised they haven't gone for Scallops, though. Just given the fact, I mean, their position is one where they do want to raid, so I can see why they'd go for Ducks. It's just they are going to have fewer Ducks. I'm sure they, were, they are aware of that. If not, then they really should turn put the F4 view on. Hit F4. That's how you get the economy view. You need that. If you're playing this game, you should always have that on. Another battle coming in for Snuggle Base. This is going to be Snuggle Base unless Sprung runs away in time, and they will not. But is that going to distract Snuggle Base? Snuggle Base is getting out of the way. They are not aware of Sprung's forces over here, but at the same time, Sprung is completely unaware of anything Snuggle Base is doing right now. Or just about anything Snuggle Base is doing. And... Good. Okay, this is not bad. This isn't bad. There is... There's nothing. There are no urchins. There are no lotuses. This entire northeast side is actually quite open. And Snuggle Base, they are, I believe, aware of the ducks. They're just now aware of the ducks. Barely, but even then, not quite. Sprung needs to attack now. But Snuggle Base already... Oh, what? 
It's not going to be second guessing that information. I'm not sure why they're moving away from the main base, but it looks like they're deciding, nope, I'm just going to go for a counterattack. Snuggle base making a bit of a mistake there, but Sprung coming in as the defenses come up. Okay, that's why, because the Lotus is coming up. That makes sense, but still, I think Snuggle base is just thinking, you know what? I don't need to defend this. I can just attack and win. They're probably not wrong. Got to be quite honest. Oh, this conch, go this conch is not going to go down. It's going to take five hits to go down, and this, this is going to be done in time. Ooh, actually, four hits maybe? No, five hits, but it doesn't matter. That duck is dead. This duck to the north is doing nothing, and Snuggle Base is going to run in for basically the kill. Or as best as they can. Losing a lot of ducks in the process, though. This urchin paying for itself, but at the same time, that's not enough. There's way too much here. Sprung finally getting their production up to par, but even then, Snuggle Base has already gone to plus 30. Mind you that a lot of that was going to a gunship plant. Which is just completed. But Sprung... I mean... They're kind of trying to raid, not really. Why are they not sprung? Sprung raid. This duck here is in such a perfect position; it could raid so easily. Yeah, the northern raid basically did nothing; just donated a bit of metal. This raid finally here we get. What the heck is going on that duck? That that duck is. What is it targeting? I have no idea what's happening to this duck. That's very bizarre. Finally getting some shots in, but that took way too long. That was really weird. That was extreme. Like, I don't even know what's happening with that duck. That... Oh, is this... Oh, right, because there's an object in the way of the metal extractors. That might actually be why. I wonder if that messes up targeting. I was assuming that it had no collision box to it, so it actually had no effect, but maybe it does. Quite a few maps recently have incorporated these sorts of arrangements, these pillars around metal extractors. It's a cool way of showing, hey, there's a metal extractor here, which actually does work well as you zoom out. Not to zoom out fully, though. As you zoom out fully, they're invisible, but when you're partly zoomed out, it's actually pretty apparent. The only problem is it's also possibly collision volumed. Well, no, no, the commander's walking through it, so I don't know what was going on with the duck then. It was not that, that was not the collision volume. I have no clue. That was very bizarre. Both players having switched over to gunship, and Snuggle Base going for a scallop drop. They have the scallops up, they have the drops up, so Snuggle Base is the one to go for scallops first, and Sprung continuing along with ducks, along with rapiers. And... Ow. Well, that Stardust did, did a good job, at least. Got rid of a lot of the ducks that Snuggle Base had coming in here, but Snuggle Base... They're gonna lose these ducks, and then... After that, well, they're probably going to lose these ducks. Not entirely sure. Actually, with the Rapiers being extracted by the Banshee, maybe not. Not before they lose these rather low-value metal extractors. But at this point, Snuggle Base, while they are quite far ahead, I I could see Sprung being able to get... If they got away with naked expansion in the Northwest, which they are going for... Yeah, they're going for some expansion in the Northwest. If they skipped over the plus five and... Or plus point five and plus one, they'd be okay. But they're going for some expansion in the Northwest. That's good. They need that. They desperately need more metal. I mean, they're down 14 metal. They've been down metal this entire game. And now, big drop coming in. This will probably end the game. This is probably going to be it. Snuggle Base coming in to essentially close this out. Sprung trying to scout out, figure out where Snuggle Base has expanded to to try to limit Snuggle Base's economy. Noble effort, but I don't know how well it's going to work. Because... No, actually, I do know how well it's going to work. The answer is not very. These Lotuses will stop... Like one of the rapiers, actually, if all three rapiers hit this lotus at once, only one of them will die. But it doesn't matter. Sprung sees the scalp drop, realizes there's not much that can be done, and throws in the towel. That was underwhelming, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. <laughs> An hour of wait for this. Granted, it's nice that it actually worked properly. Not sure what was happening with my computer. It seems to have stopped, but yeah, I gotta look into a new hard drive at some point. I just didn't want to. The long, arduous process to, to copy it over. Or at least it's a Long process. It's not really arduous, it's just I have to put in a CD, I have a tool that copies hard drives to hard drives. It's just it's time consuming. It means I don't have a computer for like eight hours. Anyway. That aside, that was that game. So let's move on to to Battle for Planet 14, which 
I don't know if I've shown before. It's This is going to be El Torero and Yurka. I have not shown this map, I don't think. It was played in the last tournament, but it wasn't any of the matches I showcased, so I don't think it's something that I've actually broadcast at all. I had broadcast Lake Largo, though. Cool map, though. Anyway, that's that. So stay tuned for Battle for Planet 14 with El Torero and Yurga, and that'll be up in just a moment.